This is from the studio that made Ori and the Blind Forest and Will of the Wisp. This is their new game. We've seen some gameplay. We get to play the game, but they're doing a little presentation and then we're going to be jumping into the gameplay. So let's see what we got. There's a panel down below if you guys want to learn more. I think it links you right to their Steam page, but this is an ARPG made by Ori Devs. Let's see. Wicked Inside. Hey everyone, I'm Thomas. And I'm Gennady. We founded Moon Studios during the rise of independent games in 2010. Back then, there weren't all that many modern Metroidvania games out there. And so we created Ori and the Blind Forest. Ori became a huge success with gamers and critics alike. Huge. And it helped spark new interest in the genre. Our next project was supposed to be something totally different because for over 20 years, we've been playing action RPGs religiously and we always dreamt of where this genre could be taken next. Yeah, the art style is sick. At the same sick. time, we felt that we could do even more within the Metroidvania genre, and so we embarked on making Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We ultimately shipped another game that was incredibly well received and that we're deeply, deeply proud of. But we had never forgotten about our dream of creating our own action RPG. We have left our mark on one genre before. Now we hope to do the same for action RPGs. It's kind of sick. Our story begins 841 years after the embrace. King Harrow is dead, and he's to be succeeded by his young and untested son, Magnus. Meanwhile, rumors of the return of a great plague, known as the Pestilence, are starting to emerge. Madrigal Selene, a ruthless figure in the church, sees the Pestilence as a chance to prove herself. These forces converge on the backwater of Isola Sacra, where rebel groups and the provincial government fight for control amid the Isle's crumbling ruins. As a Sarim, a member of an ancient sect devoted to defeating the Pestilence, you are sent on a merchant ship to investigate. Oh, that's three skulls, jeez. En route, your ship comes under attack from a rebel group known as the Risen. The battle leaves the vessel battered and badly damaged. The ship stands little chance as it limps towards the shore and it is torn apart on the rocks at sea. You find yourself washed up at the shores of Isola Sacra, bruised and unarmed, and end up caught in the midst of both a vast political struggle and a fight for survival. Yeah, the art style is awesome. I mean, it's Ori, it's Ori devs. The art in Ori is amazing. With no rest for the wicked, we decided to handcraft an entirely seamless world. Nothing in this game is procedurally generated. Instead of moving across a randomly generated flat plane, throughout this showcase, you will notice that our world is dense, interactive, uses a ton of verticality, and that every inch was crafted by a designer. Oh, wait, ingredient? Oh, you craft in this game. I didn't think you were going to do that. You'll be well served, always paying attention to your surroundings, too. There are secret areas just about everywhere that usually reward you with precious items. Ah. Oh, damn, you barrel physics dev. It is randomized. It ensures that every player has their own unique experience and that every time you explore an area, you might just finally get that last gold ore or new bad legs you've been waiting for. We abandoned the old point and click model to move your character around. We wanted players to have ultimate control over their character. Oh, wait, so it's Wazda? Every movement you make should feel oh, wait, no, it's not a controller. Yeah. intentional. For that reason, we designed Wicked to be played using WASD mm? or a controller. Oh, I knew it. <coughs> Should have never brought you on board. You'll never make it to Sacrament from here. 
Instead of going for realism, our goal is always to create games that look like a painting come to life. Our artists spend years meticulously modeling and hand painting all of Isola Sacra. Yeah, that's you will sick. traverse through plenty of breathtakingly beautiful environments, lit with natural day and night cycles, immersed in dynamic weather. She had a mushroom hat. Oh, damn. The water falling? Oh, that looks beautiful. We also engineered a very special way of rendering our top-down world where you can always see so much further into the distance. Our goal was to make everything as interactive as possible. If an object looks like you can climb it, then you can actually climb it. Oh, shit. I thought this was more like paths, like very linear. If an object is too thin to walk over it, you might just need to balance your way across. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, verticality. Huh. Yeah, these are Ori devs. Moon right Studios. Right from the start, we decided to create an animation-driven combat system. Which to us meant that every attack you make should be carefully considered. We wanted to bring weighty, precision-driven combat to the top-down space. Combat that's inspired by several different genres from ARPGs to fighting games. In order to overcome an opponent, you need to watch out for telegraph behaviors and then punish accordingly. Hmm. Oh, the green circle stamina. Timing, I think he has like a spacing, focus bar. And weapon weight are incredibly important in Wicked's combat model. In the rest for the Wicked, every single weapon has its own unique moveset. Oh, and shit. That's driven by RNG. That was a whole inventory screen. So this is more about the weapon Using you pick dagger, up. I'll have a hard time breaking this enemy shield. Let's try something different. He's gonna use the focus bar. If you time it just right, you can parry incoming attacks, allowing you to exploit an enemy's opening. Oh, he's trying. Oh my god, oh, it's gory, jeez. That guy just split in two, it looked like. Gear in the West for the Wicked comes in four different rarities. White items are common. Unlike in other ERPGs, they're not trash loot. We instead made those the most customizable. Blue huh. items are rare. They offer only positive enchantments. Purple items are cursed. They offer very positive enchantments but they also come with a cursed enchantment. Gold items are unique. They are specifically handcrafted by our designers and offer unique enchantments. Oh shit, okay. This rare claymore we found has an enchantment that increases my focus gain whenever I deal damage. Yeah, this is all about the weapons. Yeah, there's no classes, I think. I like that sword. You can tell it's heavy. Look Every at him. Every weapon has a chance to drop with its own unique rune, which can then be extracted and used on other weapons. That way, players can come up with their own unique moveset. You gain focus through combat. It is then used to perform rune attacks. Let's drive off. Or he went, the, the studio went from a family game and now they're turning but up the rating. Now and then, you might not even need to use your weapons to get rid of an enemy. Sometimes, all you need is a little push. Every weapon you'll find in No Rest for the Wicked has its own bespoke moveset, custom made by our incredible animation department. Wash and stretch and other animation principles directly inform our combat design. <laughs> oh shit. 
Layered on top of that, enchantments that drastically impact weapon behavior and our deep rune system. All of this culminates yeah, this in a looks weapon awesome, man. that we feel is extremely fun and engaging and allows every player to create their own style of combat. I want a bow. When it comes to gear like armor, there is a wide range of options, each with their own design and attributes. The weight of such items even affects your movement in combat. For instance, if you opt in for a lighter, faster build, you can quickstep out of enemy's way. Quick steps are fast and don't consume a lot of stamina. All right, let's see. It said easy, With medium, medium, hard load. Build, your character will dodge roll. Those are slower and consume more stamina. Okay. Go from fat rolls to being super agile. For no rest for the wicked, we designed a soft class system. Oh shit, character customization. Instead of locking you into a character class that you then have to adhere to for the entire playthrough, we want you to have the flexibility and freedom to play as the type of character you want to and even come up with character classes we haven't even thought of. So far, we've shown what combat looks like with a more melee focused build. There's Let's magic. take a look at how combat changes for a mage. Dude can blink. This character build uses a two-handed stab. We have three rune specials available. Blink, Fireball, and Nova. Fighting multiple enemies is always tricky. When used right, Nova can be an absolute blast. Okay. The uniqueness of each item you find to craft being able to create any character build you can think of through our soft class system and the randomized loot, all of these systems combine to ensure each playthrough and every player's experience is never truly the same. Yeah, this looks awesome, man. I'm looking forward to playing here. Saw a Sakura is riddled with plagued enemies known as the Torn. As you can see, this Torn has been left to mutate and fester and will prove particularly vicious. Our best Damn. course of action is to study his moves and attack whenever we see an opening. When's the release? I don't think they have one. Bosses are also quite brutal in No Rest for the Wicked. They will punish every mistake you will make. Oh, there's a cooldown on the heal. Make use of all of the skills you've learned, and you just might succeed. As you can see, No Rest for the Wicked is an intensely skill-based game. Your gear greatly influences your power in battle. But whether you die or overcome the challenge is ultimately down to your skill. Dude, the fire, the rain. You got him. Sacrament. Along your journey, you will come across the town of Sacrament, the capital of Isola Sacra. Ah. Sacrament is a war-torn place, but over the course of your journey, you can help rebuild Sacrament to its former glory. Don't ignore their gates, Serum. They likely never seen one of your kind. In order to demonstrate that, we'll switch to a realm that's already a little more advanced. Our goal is to make Sacrament as interesting and interactive as possible. Meet about in Mary Weather. Taylor's at your service. service. Mary, we agreed. My name goes first. Don't pretend you don't smell it. Come have a taste. Oh shit, that's a nice and kitchen. And will be in control over how Sacrament will evolve over time. For example, after my previous expedition, I helped Fillmore rebuild his smithy. He now sells better gear 
and is also able to upgrade our gear to a higher level. Yeah, everything looks clean, even effect, the UI, everything's very clean. We aim to clean. make investing resources into Sacrament as satisfying and rewarding as investing resources into your character is. Let's take a look at another way you can make Sacrament your own. In Sacrament, you'll be able to purchase real estate. Oh! You don't have enough well, money. if you have the funds to afford it. The God, too to real. Hit. Property in Sacrament can get a little bit expensive, but accumulate the riches and you can choose from a wide range of properties to suit anyone's taste. Your oh, house damn. is the perfect place to stash your loot, craft items, relax, and plan everything out for your next big run through the dangerous areas surrounding Sacrament. The lighting seems just like very good here, in the game. So it's a little bit barren. Let's fix that. There's something about the lighting that's Out like... Out the journey, you'll be able to collect to harvest valuable resources. Oh, you harvest? Which then can be used to craft new gear, furniture for your home, or even make improvements to the town itself. Oh, shit. Catch a fish, for example, and it Fishing? can be cooked and eaten, of course. But certain fish scales make Wait, you what? for some fine arm. While I was on the shores of Sakura, I collected some pine wood. So now let's make use of that and make this place a little bit more cozy. Oh, that's a nice animation right there. That was actually clean, dude. Housing is incredibly cool in No Rest for the Wicked. What Since the you're not constrained to a grid, you can come up with some really organic looking designs. The table looks nice. That's awesome. But it's missing something. Ah, it's much better. While some items you can place in your house are just cosmetic, our goal is for most of them to be functional and have a gameplay purpose. With a range of properties to purchase and an this incredibly cozy, flexible man. interior design system, we hope players will be able to find and design a unique place for them to call home. I was not expecting <laughs> that part of the game. <laughs> I thought this was going to be... Oh, you can get a house and craft and interior design. I was not expecting that. End game. Whoa. One last thing we'd like to show you today is a system we call Alive. Although No Rest for the Wicked features a traditional campaign, it was important to us that the Solar Sector is very much a living, breathing world. Damn. In order to show you what that means, we're going to go to an area called Mariner's Keep. This is an area I've previously ventured through and explored. Yeah, Ori devs know how to cook. However, you know. since my last journey through here, Nif have overrun the local area. Presenting entirely new threats for me to tackle and resources for me to scavenge. The world of No West for the Wicked is constantly changing around you. And each time you visit a region, you'll be faced with a drastically different experience. Jeez. Why is he so mad? Just beat him with the stick. Yeah, I already see myself no dying. Wicked. Ah. No wonder you need a cozy home. You never really know what to expect. No wonder. For those of you who asked about Endgame, yes, we've got you covered. While we don't want to give away too much at this point, once you reach the end game, you can enter the Serum Crucible. This is where you'll have to test your metal against some of the toughest enemies within No Rest for the Wicked. And so we're happy to announce that we're going to be launching No Rest for the Wicked after all of these years oh. into Steam Early Access next month on April 18th. Oh, damn. Over next the month? Of early Access, we'll be tweaking, patching, and balancing the game with your input. 
and you will also see major content updates throughout development until we hit our one point. Oh, there is multiplayer. At which point we're planning to release on consoles as well. We'll see what Wicked that means, though. Co-op from or... the ground up with multiplayer in mind. So the first of these major updates that we will be releasing in early access will be providing you with an innovative multiplayer experience, allowing you to play Wicked alongside or even against your friends. Oh, Our shit. second major content update will bring all new regions to Sakura, new enemies, narrative updates, and so much more. With story, system, and gameplay content updates to follow thereafter. Your yeah, this looks awesome, man. feedback during this very critical part of early access really does make a difference. No Rest for the Wicked begins a new era for Moon Studios, and we are committed to this project for the long run. We are incredibly excited about what will be in the rest for the wicked already in day one of early access. And we can't wait to show you all the stuff that will follow in the months to come. Once the showcase is over, be sure to tune in to your favorite media and content creators for the hands-on impressions of No Rest for the Wicked immediately following this Wait, wait where's my name? There it is, I see it. can't wait to see you all on April 18th. Damn, that's awesome, dude. <sighs> I mean, these devs are super talented. It's just always cool seeing an indie studio pop off. And now they're popping off in a genre that the majority of us really enjoy. And with that, we are going to play this. Because uh, they hooked it up, and we're going to see... What is going on here? All right, let's see here. We're going to go with um, chat, male or female. Let's go male. All right. Okay. Who do I relate to? I think you can customize further. So this is just the base. Uh, let's go with this guy here. Enter your name. Larrick. I don't know if I have to put that in, because only so many people have access to this. It might, like, cancel out, like, undetected. Um, alright. I kind of like that. I feel like this is nice. You don't have to do anything. You just wake up in this wicked world and just go about your day. Low maintenance. Low maintenance, but no one can say you're bald. Your hair is thinning, but you know. This shit, you gotta comb. Yeah, low maintenance. Facial hair. Well, now we're gonna have to maintain this, but we'll ju we're just gonna keep a... Uh... Oh, the music's actually nice, too. Okay, okay. Live orchestra. Let's go with this beard. Sure, this guy. Boom. We'll take that. Distance. Oh yeah, we can 360, of course. Alright, position. You know, there's like decent customization. You know, they're not they don't want you to go goofy mode. There needs to be a, a bit of immersion here. Eyebrows position. He's just always surprised. Let me let me early access beta test. Nah, he he looks fine. Nose. Okay, hold on. Actually, all right, y'all uh, uh, relax, devs. All right, hold on. No, 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 no. Max Verstappen eyes? Isn't that like an F1 racer or something? He's a good, he, he's good looking, dude. He has, a, he's covering his triple chin with his beard. This isn't going to do anything. Yeah, the, the chin's not going to be shown here because he has an insane beard. All right, let's go with this guy. He seems nice. I think he's good here. Change the beard. Can we do much with the... Fine. 
Job position. Oh, okay. I mean, you know. They keep it in line. Oh, there we go. Okay, that elongated the chin a decent amount. Ah, oh, true. Now, let's just give him the facial hair. We're going to get in game here. I think I almost ruined the customization. Name your realm. Craft a realm where your legend begins. Malul. Your realm is ready to be created with your personalized settings. All right, here we go. No rest for the wicked. Check smash point WI. Check out the game. Handle down below. It just said early access release is April 18th. Oh. The king. So, it's true. The king is dead. Boris. Long live the king. He was a great man and a good friend. I, I will mourn him. We will all mourn him. Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. I offer my condolences and my counsel. As I did for your father for the many great years. pestilence has returned, Lord Bowers. Uh, yes, I have heard the rumors. They're not rumors. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own shores. This has such a Turning unique art style, man. To unspeakable things. The pestilence is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. Is it now? How convenient. You question the church. You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it to spread. My father has been weak for many years. I will begin my reign doing what he could not. My king, you are grieving. I must recommend against it. It's already done. Tomorrow, Madrigal Selene and her Inquisition will set sail for Sacra. I promise we will cleanse the island of this wickedness. Our new king's faith in the church is well placed. Our king's faith was never in question. Ellsworth is a strong ruler, your grace. Sacra will recover. No. Sacra will be reborn. Ah. This is my responsibility to the kingdom. Always the prince. With God's hands, we will reach into every corner of the island and bring it like a newborn babe. Screaming into the light. Oh shit, they're invading in the background. That's us. Damn, wait, where did I come from? <clears throat> oh dude, the water looks sick. Yeah, I'm going back into the water. Uh. Oh wait, you can swim. Oh shit. Oh, there's a stam- Oh god, I'm gonna drown. Oh, this looks nice, man. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah let me just- Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, oh god! Dude, the sand was right there. All right, fastest death, fastest death ever recorded. The end. Oh shit! Oh, there's there's decent weight. Green radial's my stamina. Horseshoe crab. Oh, you can dash. And then, okay, back. I'm using an Xbox controller. Inventory. Oh, there's, there's copper, silver, and gold. 
Okay. They did mention currency. Oh, those are my stats on the right. Bottom, it says fast. Oh, that's my weight. I mean, look at what I'm wearing. What is the... Oh, health... Oh, okay, so all the symbols are... Dex is a bow symbol weight class. There's resistances. Quest, bounties, challenges. Can I zoom out the map? Oh, okay. Food recipes? Oh shit, you cook? Show damage numbers. Show stat numbers. I'll turn all these on just to see. Auto target enemies. Hmm. It looks like there's sword, shield. This is all your armor. Two rings. You unlock a third slot. Maybe you can carry three weapons. And then there's the this looks like for like your fishing pole and ore and stuff. All right, your uh, pickaxe. All right, let's see here. Oh my god. Oh, you can hold. Okay, you can hold for a heavy. And then hold to run. Ah! Oh shit, it's like a Spartan kick. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Oh shit, this guy. He was in the. Oh, I knew it. Should have never brought you on board. Wait, should have never brought you on board? Oh. You'll never make it to Sacrament from here. Who is the captain? This coast is crawling. If there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, don't cough on me. Oh. The waves. Can you feel them, Father? But back at sea. Dude, you made him into an emote so fast. Oh no, dude. Don't die, man! No! His last thought was his dad. Oh yeah, look, you need a pickaxe. Oh yeah, it is ore. Oh yeah, you can literally climb on anything. It has, like, a lot of... You're not bound to, like, the typical RPG route, kind of. It's like... There's axes. You need a fish... You need a fishing rod. Oh, these are fishing spots. Oh, what the hell? Can I jump? So you can't jump. You just kind of find... You have to find, like, walk-up areas. Oh, there's a chest over there. All right, let's go over here. I wonder if I can, um... Hmm. Oh yeah, these are giving me one XP. But it's ingredients. Oh, I remember this. I missed. Dude, his punches are like... This guy's strong. Jeez. Alright, that dev found loot in here that seemed pretty good. And he said it was RNG. Gamma gamma! I got a pickaxe. An insane leather pants. Blade oil. When applied to your weapon, attack do additional damage. Adds 50 durability to all equipped items. Oh shit, climbers pickaxe. Or pick. The weight, the weight on the punches. Very nice. Sorry. All right, let me see here. Uh, oh, wait, there's a quest over there, too. Let me equip this. All right, so what do we have here? We got new pants. Looks like you extend your inventory space later. All right. And then uh, an actual... You do not have the... Oh, I can't use this. One-handed hammer. Oh, it's not for resources. That's like a legit weapon. Can I go through here? No. All right, let's keep going. Oh, copper woodcutter's axe. That looks like a weapon. I mean, a uh, for resources. Oh, it is. Okay, I can chop trees down. Okay. It's just really satisfying. Stop. 
Alright, let's go over here. There's a chest. Hey, yo, can I go in the water and just like... Oh. Did I miss the chest? Was it back here? Oh, yeah, it was over here. I need to go all the way this way and then jump. Ah! Oh, he auto jumps off of an edge. You hold A. Grants additional poise. All right, we're getting some pots. Oh, okay, so auto bound. All right, so yeah, I did notice that it looks like there's a cooldown. Oh, I can chop down a tree. I wonder if this consumes my whole axe. The sword uh, got depleted. Okay, so you get one, you get one log per tree, and it depletes the weapon or the item. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. I got two pine wood. And then what was this? An ornate but weathered horn found washed up on Sakura's coast. Yeah, that washed up right with me. Siddle? Oh, what the fuck? Wait a minute. I bet there's something behind here. Whoa, I- Whoa! Dude, I bet no one has found this. Chat, one sec. Hold on, I just need to change one thing. Alright. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I got a shield. Oh, yo. E uh, equip load increased by 40%. Expands the wearer's equipment load. Oh, okay, so that's what they were talking about. I forgot the terminology. And then we have a chip sapphire. Okay, let me see here. Inventory. Hold on. Let's uh, equip this. Alright, we got our ring. And we have a shield. But we have nothing. Can I just, like, hit people with the shield? I mean, that would hurt. That's actually kind of crazy. I honestly thought I was not going to be able to do anything behind this waterfall. <laughs> I thought I was, like, going out of bounds of the game. <laughs> it was at that point, but I just continued. Pickaxe is a weapon. I know, I just can't use it yet. Oh, wait, I still have the pickaxe, so it didn't disappear. Are there stats? Oh, there is a durability. They use six durabilities to harvest the wood. What's over this way? Something's in there. Where am I on the map? I'm headed towards something. Artemisia herb. Alright, so I just washed up ashore and I'm already I got 16 copper to my name. So I think anytime you go up to a wall, you can siddle. And you can shimmy. Which means there must be little gaps I can get through. There's a ladder, but this looks like that looks like a shortcut. Yeah, like, I'm gonna find this, but there's nothing here I can do. Alright, let's go back. I'm in, like, the sewer area, so the water's all murky. So you can't jump. You can't jump. Yeah, you can dash. It's like you jump. Depend if you It auto-jumps if you're going off of a ledge. Unless I'm totally wrong, it seems like you can't. Alright, we're back here. There was a guy in that bridge. I'm kind of like, exploring on purpose. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, okay, we're back here. Got more coins. We can go down south. Oh, 
I hear like a howl. I wonder, dude, this game seems like there's like secrets. They encourage the exploration to find. It's like a very open explorey game. There's obvious paths. Like I can cross the bridge. But there was like an echo over here. I'm gonna die. Wait a minute, there's loot over there. Maybe I'm going though. Oh yeah, wait, there's loot here too. Under the bridge. More pants. I will check those out. Eighteen silver. I'm so close. Oh shit. Oh wait, sneak X to backstab. It was a mistake, man. Stop. I said, stop. Oh, he dropped an apple. Worth it. Nice. Oh, yeah, I could block. True. I could have. Oh, this is. He was fishing around here. Shrooms. Horseshoe crab. I don't have a fishing rod, though. Oh, there's a way up here. Wait, did I get one? I did get one? Oh, yeah, I got a fishing rod. And I have a cleric's mace. Oh, my God, we have to fish. Go back. Can I zoom in on the weapon? I don't think I can. All right, can I zoom in on the character? No. There is a charged attack. All right, there's definitely... You got to watch your stamina. Seems like... Uh, I can roll maybe like four times. Catch some fish. Nice. A natural carp. And there is a chest up there. I don't know. Okay, you can't like dismantle, so there is a blacksmith. Maybe you just sell everything. Let me get this. Oh, whoa. Small vial of poise. Alright, before I go in there, I just want to see what's up here. And then, can I chop this down? Yeah. Come on! Come on! Clean. Decent amount of, uh, resource there. Oh yeah, can I cook at a fire? Cook at the fire pit. Recipes. Mushroom soup. Oh, here we go. I can make three. Does he actually cook? He has a skewer. Oh, there you go. Okay, now we have seven of those. Oh, there's a hole over there. A lot of horseshoe crabs. Yeah, chill, bro. Okay, block still hurts you. What's this move? Okay. Oh, I think it auto zooms in on combat. Gnarled staff. Oh, dude, mage. Attack, stamina, cost decreased by 10%, damage increased by 41%, items, weight decreased by 26%. Fireball, blink, fire, nova? Oh, shit. Wait, you can duel? Wait. Oh, no, you can... Okay, so you can have multiple weapons. Using a water staff, you can cast powerful spells with focus. Let me actually... Um, let me, uh... 
Unequip, 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 and then equip the staff. For weight. Oh shit, dude. Ooh, the, the staff attacks are actually sick. Oh shit, can you hold the fireball? Oh, damn. Oh, that's my dash. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right, let's keep going. I was not expecting to find a staff this early. Low quality meat, Sage. Oh, dude, if you walk, he walks. That's, that's sick, actually. This is the default walk animation with the staff. Hey, yo, what up, dude? All right, so I, as a mage, you have to melee to build focus, which is the yellow to then cast abilities. Oh, shit. That was a waste. Bl even blinking. Blinking's a little... I'd rather just uh, dash and not blink. Alright, cool, cool. Walking a chest. Scrap bomb. Copper ore. You got a bomb. I wonder if I can drop down here. This game totally has, like, a very interesting approach to the exploration. It, it totally looks like it... It's like you're used to seeing stuff like this, usually in, like, a third-person way, so seeing it more top-down ARPG-like is interesting. I wonder if I can swim there. Or do, I don't think I can jump. Where am I on the map? Wait a minute. Oh, sh wait, I have to balance? Wait, I don't know if I can fall. Oh God, I think you can fall off. Hey, y'all chill, dude, okay? Hold the staff with two hands for balance. Oh yeah, okay, okay. You can get on a bit of a rail. That's a helmet? Worth. Worth for the drip. Can I get over there to that right side? I don't think there's a path. Okay, this was a Jebate ladder. You know what? I went the unconventional way. You can just drop a ladder down here. And then find this location. Let me see if I can jump. Oh my god, you can. Yeah, he jumps on ledges. Weapon shard? Okay, I think these are kind of like uh, smithing stones. In like, uh, Souls games. Okay. Ah! I guess it was worth dropping down. Oh, I'm back here. I actually didn't need to do any of that. Because I could have gone this way. Now, how do I get in here? There's a couple of different paths to take. Oh! Oh! Okay, so that's kind of like your respawn point. Alright, let's see here. Chat, uh, exclamation point, W-I... 
panel down below if you guys want to check out this game. This is the new ARPG that uh, Moon Studios let us try out. This is coming out April 18th, Early Access. They just announced it. This is Ori Devs' new game. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, hold on, hold on. I thought this was a random dude. Oh, there's a... Oh, yeah, there's a backstab. I think you can actually hold the fireball like a flashlight. Rune attacks deal 15% bonus damage. So like, okay. So my my fireball and that Nova does that 15% more damage. I'm already pretty geared right now. Okay, so intelligence, faith, insight. Increases your character's Amino. Weapons that scale with fate receive an attribute bonus. How do you know what this scales with? Oh, it tells you. Scales with intelligence. Let's just go to in here. Oh, it shows you. Tells you the base damage on what you're wearing. And then actually how you're benefiting. Okay. And then let's just throw in some health here. Why not? All right. Dude, my guy looks awesome already. Alright, this is like the fit this is like the sixth ladder that is some guy just pushes up too high up. Alright, let's go back. I'm not sure how much the game's gonna be. They haven't really said that yet. Oh wait, hold on, look at that. God damn, man. I feel like I'm getting soaked in rain playing this game. It's such a ridiculous downpour. It was worth it. We got an upgrade. All right. It's a single player game. They mentioned multiplayer and they mentioned what seemed to be group play and uh, one like a uh, tournament. The concept art they showed was uh, he was in a Coliseum. And then in like a 1v1. So, yeah. It's uh, no co-op on their Steam page. You can just, the quality in this game is just so nice. I mean, it's pretty sick now seeing like, uh, these devs go into a more action genre. Okay, so a heavy takes like a fourth of the bar. This is one of those games that will be very well received. So like, once it even hits 1.0 out of early access, it's gonna... Yeah, like this game's gonna be big. Sponsored... Yes, but, you know, I can, I, this, this game's gonna be something. People, this is gonna be one to look for. Wait, instantly gain 50 experience? Wait, these are all things I can crap, wait, what? I think I can just look at everything, but I have that in my inventory. Nice. Sure, man. Full damage on int. Actually, let's get a little more health. What else do I have? I didn't know I had pots like that. Adds... Okay, so there is um, durability in the game. Poise defense. Different types of food. A bomb. And then raw food, I can just eat like an apple. 
And then I think you must get new crafting recipes for food, because that's all I can do. And then how do I equip stuff on my, my, uh, my bar? I think if I just, um... Oh, it's already bound to D-pad. Like, if I want to equip the bomb... Oh, that's how you do it. Alright. Let's go. Let me chop this tree down. Timber! Oh, there's another guy here. Oh, yeah, he doesn't get stunned by the hits. Chill, buddy. Okay. This is not released. The devs hooked it up and gave us, gave us uh, access to show off the game a bit. He regrets it. He regrets it. Nice. My mushroom stews are delicious. Oh yeah, see, I didn't need to go down there. Oh wait, actually, you know what? This is the first ladder we're gonna kick. Yeah, I didn't need to go that do that drop from earlier. <gasps> we got a pickaxe. And another bomb. Requires shovel. I'm on a, a controller, but they did say uh, this will be Wazda. He specifically mentioned that. So this is a Wazda ARPG. Wilding pants. I think my pants are just... Oh, wait, no, these are better. Oh, so I don't... F I'm not fast anymore. I, uh... I have a roll instead of a quick step. Because I'm wearing more weight. Oh, yeah, you can hold your fireball. Oh, shit, it buffs. Oh, my God. But then you lose your focus. Oh, this guy's actually... Hold on. Oh, dude, you can, like, hold it and charge up the fireball. I had no idea. Oh, he dropped a weapon. Two-handed weapons, brothers, keepers? So wait, does that add more weight having two weapons? Or is it the weapon you have equipped? It looks like it doesn't. I wonder if you're supposed to do that. Oh, we have dual daggers. Oh, shit. Yeah, the daggers are super fast. But I'm really digging the staff play. Oh, you can destroy it? Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm, I'm very much digging this. Oh, yeah, let me see here. Yeah, full int build with daggers. You'll probably be able to respec, you'd assume. Sorry, these poor rats. Oh my god, this is not a ladder, but I can climb down here. Yeah, where'd you get that hat from? That's my hat. Oh, there's loot up on that pillar. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, so you can actually grab onto a ledge. Oh, there is a- there is a drop attack. Okay.
Lots of low quality meat. I need to figure out how to cook that. I'm a little lost. I need to make sure. There's actually a decent amount you can do here. Show quest log. The ship's captain told us to try and get to the city of Sacrament, but he warned them mo that more of the raiders who attacked our ship may lurk up ahead. So, I guess I could go do the objective. I'm kind of just like going into whatever path I seem I seems interesting. I'm taking that approach. I do have a pickaxe now. So let's go ahead and equip that and see how the mining is. I missed the chest. Nice. You gotta meet the blacksmith eventually. Oh yeah, you can go up here too. Ew. Wolf kidney fallen ember. There's more dudes over here. Let me see how a full fireball is now. Ow! He's dead. Oh my god, rip. I'm not gonna lie, that area to the right reminds me of the boss they showed up, so I'm a little worried. Oh, this leads down to where I was earlier, of course. Wait, can I go up here? Or is that a wall? I think it's a wall. You can parry, yes. Right there, that's a parry. Yes, it is back the gate. that get hot. Please, I don't have it. What the hell, man? They just kicked that guy. Sorry, man, you were looking at me weird. Everybody here is trying to kill us. Alright, see, that's why I'm hitting every barrel. There's a chance for loot. It says why near the wall? Because uh, it's something you can do. You can... You can, like, shimmy on the wall. Damn, the backstab is actually like wicked good. Mess hall key? <gasps> oh, I'm above the sewer area where I explore. Oh shit. Almost died. You have to find little areas you can shimmy. There's a lever up there. And we can chop this down. That looks like a door. Anytime you get to a wall, it tells you to press Y. That doesn't necessarily mean you want to. See, anytime yet, yeah, it says actually not every wall. But yeah, I don't think this means anything. Come on, man. You're gonna give me a claymore? Sheesh. Oh, come on, man. Oh, 
In Claymore. Oh, the, the, okay. Oh, we have this too. Oh, all right. This versus this. I mean, this is, uh, we're getting into the heavy territory. So, I mean, oh, so having two weapons does mess with you there. I like my other hat. But this will do for now. I swear you can climb up here and there's loot. Yep. Yep. Wait. Oh. Nice. I like completely just did not see that. Oh, you can look at look at the distance. You can see where that is too. Can I if I sit up will I like fall off the edge? Want to go down the stairs to save that guy? Which guy? Did I pass some guy that I could have saved? Western bridge key is needed to open this door. Ah! Did I ever go in here? Oh, I did, and this was the dead end. That's where I found one of the upgrades, right? All right, let's go back. This way. I hope this game, uh, yeah, I mean, this is the dark and depressing area. I mean, you washed up ashore. I don't remember where the blacksmith was, guys. I don't, I don't know. Where the hell was there a blacksmith? They showed, like, a pretty sunny area that looked like it was, like, very green and grassy. Oh, that guy. Yeah, we're leading up to him. I have to somehow open this. There's a lover up there, and then eventually I'll get to the guy. I know. I just have to figure out how to get to him. Actually, never mind. Hold on. Is there a path over here? Oh my god, there's stair- Oh, there's a door here. You I don't know. Oh damn, I thought that one tab. Oh yeah, this is cozy over here. Fillmore? Thank you, stranger. Thought I could sabotage the gate, keep more of these savages from reaching Sacrament's walls. I, I like how the camera's kind of dynamic in the game. But I got my damn fool self trapped too. They try to be cinematic. Suppose there's a reason I'm a blacksmith and not a soldier, huh? Name's Fillmore. If you ever need anything repaired, you come to me. Nothing I can't fix. Now here. This will open the gate. Get yourself to Sacrament. Through the Auburn Glades to the east. It's the safest place for both of us. But keep a careful eye out. I heard some of these Risen speak of a foul presence outside the city's gate. Oh shit, here we go. Repair equipped and repair all. Sell. Um, I can't use this yet. I don't think I will use it. Maybe I just sell everything. Oh, these are actually... Oh, okay. Can sell a little bit of everything. I don't know what's considered junk. It seems like everything has some sort of use. So I shouldn't. You go on ahead. Clear the road. I can't fix nothing if I'm dead in a ditch. What do you have to buy? He has a bow. 
short bow. I have all these tools. Oh, a shovel. Crab chowder, mushroom, and meat curry. Oh, sheesh, buddy. I could buy armor. Ah, so that's how you get new cooking recipes. Uh, inventory. How do I use? Use. Hey, yo, can I use your shit? I know you like blacksmith here, but I'm gonna cook a nice kebab off this, all right? Damn, this is worth it. Oh, wait, 20 health and 20 focus. Oh, I see. Ah, okay, so there's food that's straight health. There's food that heals you and has a heal over time, and then there's food that gives you um, focus, which is basically how you use your abilities on your weapon. The whole game is about doing... The combat system is dodge, parry, all about doing light attacks, heavy attacks, to build your yellow bar to then hit RB and use your abilities. So you're trying to build your resource. And there are combos with the light attacks, yeah. If you, the, the claymore had a decent amount. Yeah, I have an AoE ad ability. Damn, if that guy could do some upgrades, I have a lot of bats. Yo! Where does this lead? Okay, this leads... I guess that's one way of doing it. It looks like you can go everywhere in this game, but you kind of look at your map. Actually, I guess it kind of tells you. Because there is definitely a chest over here. There's a ledge. Yep. Let me equip the shovel. Because there's digging in the game. Tell me I can make it back. Another chest. Oh, man. That was holding on two chests. Blade oil. Oh my god. Oh, this is a purple. I can't use it though. Is that up in the sky? I can't loot that. Okay, so we got everything up here. Yeah, it kind of looks like it is on the roof if there's a way to get up there. Maybe there is a way. I'm not sure. There's a ladder next to the fire. Wait a minute. What about here? Yo! Okay, we know of that. Is there anywhere else? Ah! Almost fell. Malformed skull. It's a resource. And there's a guy over here. This guy has no idea. Not sure where that leads. I don't know if I can make that jump. I don't know. I do have a blink, but I don't know if the blink goes that far. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That leads right there. I 
can chop that tree down for resources. It literally just leads right there. Oh, this, you have to go this way. Oh, true, and that's how you get to the other side. A lot of scrap bombs. And then from here, I can drop down and grab this. Storage room key. I'm not entirely sure. Man, this guy's good at digging. Efficient. Yeah, the exploration is like, everything is... Everything like sticks together. The, uh, the whole environment just comes together. Okay, so we got a couple of different items here. So let's go towards the main objective. I don't know where the storage key was. Maybe there was one thing I couldn't open. Does it mark it on the map? I could just head towards the objective, see if uh, the key is over there, but there is a specific area with a door that I needed. Uh... Was it past this, or is this where the gate was? I think this is where the gate was. Oh, is it this door? So, oh, this is the storage room. We got a bunch of new stuff. Nothing I can really use. Yeah, I wonder if I need to, like, jump up there somehow. Like, the other ways. Or just walk to it and press that. Because I have the handle. There you go. I could have swore I had one other key. Storage room mess hall key. Further down, potentially? There was a door behind me. I just don't know where it was. Let's level up here. Oh, shit. One of these guys. Okay, chill, buddy. Chill. That two taps this guy? Damn. I will gladly take that hat. Looks better on me anyways. Yeah, the charge actually doesn't do a lot more damage on the fireball. I don't think it's worth holding it. Maybe eventually, but not now. Interesting, that just loops around. Casual purple gloves. Healing effects increased by 30%. Focus is halved. What? That's not worth it. That is not worth. I rely on focus. Oh, there's the sewer down there. Oh, and this is the ladder. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drop down there. 
I wonder why, I don't know why I would use that. Maybe it's for a different zone later, but I didn't really see any connection points. What is this? Oh, this is like an elevator. That looks like I need to kick it from the other side. Alright, let's just go. I don't really see anything else to do here. It seems like if you dodge very well while they're trying to kill you, you can actually get a nice backstab off on some of these dudes. Ah, I missed. Give me a second. I'm coming back. When I get up there, you're going to die, bro. gonna cook and then let's talk all right i'm a cook and then we'll talk all right let him cook let him cook honey let him cook all right serum forgive my father he mistook you for one of the risen if you make for sacrament there are worse things than bandits up ahead Great beast is loose in these glades. A great beast? They say it used to be a man. I wanted to go after it. The father says. The father says the torn are not to be trifled with. And he's right. The torn? Oh, yeah, whoa, you can actually move. God. All right, let's keep moving here. Orban Glades. Ow. Just broke my foot. I was at X when I see these. When I what I need to do is hold Y. There we go. Now we don't need to use the elevator. And you guys can take that bridge too. You're welcome. And we're not going to go that way. <clears throat> Looks like I can break it. Oh shit, is this like a cave? Who goes there? Even though I go here, because I opened your door. Alright, let's just yoink this guy's loot while he sleeps. Lol. Lol. Yoink. He was saving these shrooms. It's ours now. Alright, let's see here. Oh, I didn't mean to aggro him. Looks like we're fighting. Uh-oh. Okay, this is not good. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, ow. Wait, I can just wait here for two seconds. 
Nice. Dude, what just happened? Ow! I'm gonna wait here again. You done? He fit in those pants? No! My butts! No! Jute threads. No! My butts! Low quality meat? Where's the high quality shit? All right, let's continue for it. Wait, you missed top of tower. Bro, there's been like 50 towers, man. Tell me more. Yeah, you have to really look at the map in this game. The way this game is, it's it's like there's so many nooks and crannies. Like, there's so many areas to go in. The map is definitely the guides you need. Ow! Damn, that did a lot of damage. It's kind of an, oh my God, an indicator as to like where to go in terms of, hey, there's probably an explorable path here. If you keep looking. Uh-oh, this guy keeps you stunned. It might be worth getting the focus food. Oh shit, the backstab on that guy is insane. You actually get a lot of these pots. Insta 50 XP pots. When I hit RB, the weapon, the skills are bound to the weapon. So when I hit RB, these are all my staff abilities. Because that's what I'm wielding. Okay, I found a shroom area. Something is here. There's so many herbs. Another shovel. So like, yeah, uh, yeah, damn, there's so much. Very interestingly built. Like, is this the edge point? Can I like climb up here and there's like a tree or something or a uh, loot? There's gotta be something up here. Come on, man. No. All right, let's go. There's another guy here. Oh yeah, this is where... Oh wait, no, he's dead. Uh-oh. I know what's about to happen here. Let's equip that food for focus. And then instantly. Gain 100 focus.
little buddy. Holy shit! Wait, what? That did so much damage! Put you down, friend. Oh, shit. Was a valiant attempt, but I am a strong mage, and you are a noob. Before we go there, there's a. I swear, there's an there's an area here. I swear to God. I swear, there's something over here. There isn't. I think he was just uh, very vulnerable to fire or something. Oh, I have no room in my inventory. Plus, I just kind of went glass cannon, so my my fire abilities do a shit ton of damage. I guess I don't really need the gloves. They're kind of whatever gloves. Uh, or I could just, like, discard this and pick them up. Not enough space in your resources inventory. Wait, in your resources inventory? Oh. I thought those were gloves. Oh, I can eat this too. Alright, I'll just get rid of this. Human hand. Oh. Those aren't gloves. We, we literally took his hands. I wonder if there's something like... First death. First death. Wait, who's this guy? Hello, more? Figured I'd be safer camping out here. You let me know oh. if you need anything repaired. Oh, sickening stench, isn't it? All those bodies ripped apart. God save the soul who comes face to face with the cause of all this. Oh. Mm. I'm gonna sell everything. I have two shovels. Maybe it's worth, like, equipping the, uh, the one that's worse. Alright, let's go back. Uh, do 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 I have two other shovels. I guess I could have equipped. Uh, I already have one. Okay, so, um, I think, um, this is actually the end point. Because when I go past the bridge, I'm pretty sure that is the end of our playtime. Uh-oh. Wait, there was something there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. I'm pretty sure if I cross the bridge, uh, that's basically the showcase. I swear to God there was something there. Dude, there was right? 
It looked like there was a little... What did I... What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I port to a different one? No. Explore the tower. You have a key. True. Maybe the mess hall key is like another boss or something? I just needed to figure out how to get to the mess hall. Yeah, that is the end point. If I, if I go, uh, if I cross that bridge, that's where the demo ends. Um, th there was a door. I remember the door where that guy was. I just don't remember where the door is. I remember the door. It's somewhere around here. Uh, there was like a, st there was like stairs leading up to it. I don't think it's here. That was it? Was it? Up here to the left? I thought this was a dead end. Wait, unless these are the stairs. Oh, this is it. Mm-mm. That's the western bridge door. This looks like you could probably get it to run on the Steam Deck as well. Looks like a good Steam Deck game. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know where to use the key. I have no idea. Wait. I've already been here too. Mm. I, don't, I, chat, I don't think we're going to be able to figure out the mess hall. I'm going to have to ask like a dev. When you open the map, it says 80% complete. Area status safe. True. Yeah, maybe there is something I missed somewhere. I just don't know where. I have to just keep exploring. You are in the mess hall? This is the mess hall? Well, wherever the room is for the key sure is hard to see. There's no door. Yeah, there's where where do we use the key? This leads down back. Unless uh unless it was I had a key to open this door. Because I still have the storage room key and it never consumed it. Lol. I blame the guy in chat, okay? I wouldn't have looked. He made me think I'd never opened the fucking mess hall. No, it's because the key isn't consumed. Once used. At least some of the keys. Alright, let's cross the bridge. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know where the last 20% is. Blame that guy! Did you ever go to the topmost fireplace? I want to say yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yup. Okay. Now we killed Warwick. He was very vulnerable to fire damage. Is this death here? Oh god, that's death. So, wait, area completion 
Oh, because this is Orban Glades now. Ah. Bottom of the map, you have a path. Chat, what is he talking about, bottom of the map? Are you saying that right there sticking out? Maybe. South starting area. Let's go back. Yeah, okay, we... Warwick. There is a ladder right there to the left, but... <clears throat> Does Warwick have any other area? South starting area, you can see a bone bridge. Okay, we're gonna take chat. Um, <clears throat> you know what? Chat are gamers. I'm gonna go all in on this one guy and assume he's right. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the starting area. Wait, there's a bridge right here. Oh my god. Wait a minute. He was right. I mean, a, a ladder. But there was an X there. He said south. There's a there's a path. I'm fine. It hurt. My head. Oh yeah, okay, this is where the sewer was. And I looted- I looted that over there. I'm going- yeah, yeah, no, this guy's saying there's a bone bridge south of the starting area in the sea. You can see it. Wait, can you climb this? Oh no. Yeah, this is where you spawn in right here. This is where the game begins. Wait. No one's ever done this before. Hold on. No, there's no chest. <laughs> there's no chest here. says area completion 96%. That bird just take that guy's head. There was blood. That right here you fight a guy and there's a ladder up here that you can't access. I did check under the bridge. I found stuff under the bridge. Ah, uh, there is loot under the bridge. Let me chop this. I think that boss would have been way more difficult if I wasn't a mage. Because they kind of showed the strategy in the, um, uh, that he was vulnerable to fire damage, and I happen to be a fire mage. If I was using melee, he probably been, he would have been way tankier. I already took that route, and this is the edge, and then it curves through. It is 80% here. You're missing southeast past the two small islands. 
Are you sure? We already tried that door. We already tried that door. Door behind you. Yeah, yeah, we already tried that door. It's for a key that I don't have. Yeah, there's a door, but it requires a West Bridge key, which I do not have. You probably sometimes have to go back to some of these areas once you find a key to unlock a huge area later. I'm gonna go to where that guy mentioned the two islands, and I have a feeling you're wrong. But let me see. Yeah, like, this is the demo, you know, some of the 100% it's probably not fully correct. This is, uh, pre-early access they're giving us access to, so... We're seeing the gist of the game. The meat and the bones. Yeah, this is where the sewer area is, and that's, this is a whole rock formation. Yeah, for early access, the quality for this game is great. Like this is this is this is the this is them laying down the foundation of what will be. And everything here is like very well done. Yeah, this is like the whole cave area to that I can climb up, but I, it's a different access area. You kill yeah, Warwick we killed. Wait, there actually there is that chest. Hold on, wait a minute. I forgot about this chest. How do we get it? This one's a doozy here. How do we get that chest? What is the opening? Oh, wait, what if you... Oh, my God, I know. I know. I know. Wait, was there a wall? Was there something to break? Oh, you can go down. Of course. Damn. The drip. Iron pickaxe, copper shovel. Wait a minute. Oh, I actually already got that. This looks like you should be able to use it. Another ladder. Wait, this leads into the water. Oh my god. Oh, the water's pretty bad. Uh-oh. What up, dude? I'm here for your loot. You done? Let him spin for a while. He was having a good time. Rune attack deal 9% bonus damage. Don't you have a ring for rune attack? I mean, I don't really need that ring. Still gonna be normal rolling.
Yeah, you can, um... I can fish. You have to look for the little seats and you can fish there. Alright, my inventory is getting very, very full now. Let's discard the mushrooms because they're so easy to find. Oh wait, there's a shovel area here. You have a lot of different things. That guy dropped down from somewhere. Oh, there- yes, I can get up here. How? This looks like I can maybe- yep. Some coins. I can't climb up there. I think that was everything. I think we found uh, what was missing here. I think we got everything. Yeah, this is the border. Was there a ladder going up? Let me fish here. Yeah, but I thought the ladder was too high up. Good thing this is here. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the ladder you guys were talking about. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I would say it has Souls-like elements. It feels like, uh, it has, it's a fusion of a couple of games. There's two ladders. I'm almost positive the second ladder I was not able to attach onto. Yeah, this one, this is where I came from, right? And then this one I can't access. So there must be a different area. This totally looks like I need to attach a gear or like move a lever. I have to find how to get there. Maybe there's like a drop point. Yeah, there is something there. Okay. Oh yeah, I actually can't go through this ladder now. Let's go up. This game's awesome. I'm gonna totally play on launch. I want to try like a bow character and uh... Yeah, honestly, even the cutscenes, the characters look cool. The plot is sick. I mean, the plot, the king is dead. The prince now went to this area to try to stop the pestilence that is spreading throughout the land. That's the gist of the lore. So... That's all we have right now. Can I actually make this jump here? I don't think you can. Yeah, the exploration in this game is like super satisfying. You kind of like want to explore. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that. Look at that. I, I, I had a feeling it feels like you're you're trying to no clip. That's what it feels like in the. It feels like you're trying to no clip and go out of bounds, but then it's like no, there. This is actually a path. Or you're going out of, like, the map bounds? Oh, shit. Oh, why do I have apples equipped? Where's my good food? Don't hit me. Truce. Ow. Yeah, 
Yo, is my focus bar gone? Spear mantle. Oh, sh yo, the drippity. What the hell? Dude's got a bunch of pots now. Way better protection. All right, we just found a whole new area. see something real quick oh yeah I never use this they give you a lot of experience pots ah! oh god oh god Is that where, uh, okay, that's where those dudes are? I actually regret falling down here. Yo, for real, wait, wait, I swear my focus bar disappeared. Did I equip something? That, oh, focus halved. That completely removed it. There we go. Yeah, it was the gloves. Let's see if Saren bleed. You done? You're gonna feel that one, friend. Yes, you shall feel that one. I'm just like a hermit, but I'm super strong. God damn! Crab chowder, mushroom meat curry? You done, dude? Stop. Yeah, I'm just a hermit. But if you mess with me, I'll one-tap you. Yeah, my guy at the top left is, like, slowly disappearing. This is pre-early access, guys. We've all been on the early access journey. There's gonna be, like, weird bugs. This is what I was initially trying to get until I encountered all those fights. This is like you're just typical whatever. Like, they'll be fixed. Next time, don't scream in my ear, okay? Can I actually drop down here? That looks like a like a hand bridge that needs to be kicked. Like a bone. Another ladder. We actually may have found the end unless I can go this way, but everything seems cut off. Yeah, I can't go over there. 77%. Uh, yeah, I already killed the boss. I can't. I, if I cross the bridge, uh, that's the end. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty sick. I, I, I wasn't expecting getting access to this, so it's kind of cool that the devs hooked it up. I know a couple of streamers got access, but... Um, I thought this game was sick when they announced it, and, like, this game's pretty awesome. This is definitely one to keep on your wish list and radar. I mean, undeniable, the art team's insane, and now apply it to an ARPG. It's pretty fucking cool. 
I'm curious to see what like the crazier bosses are. That was literally just the first boss. So yeah. Yeah, there's a bit more to explore, but I mean, I could 100% this, but I don't know if I'm gonna. Because it's hard to tell what is accessible and what isn't now. Try jumping in. I Sure, I, I'll probably end up dying. I, they might tweak the difficulty. I think I was just super powerful for the first boss. If you melee, I, I think you have way more trouble. I two-tapped him with, like, a fire build. And the boss was vulnerable to fire. It kind of does look like I can go there, but... The one thing I didn't explore... ...was where the gear was. Hey, I'm back, bruh! Alright, I think we got everything. But yeah, chat, this was, um... No rest for the wicked, man. This was pretty awesome. You lose durability when you die in this game. I mean, I'm looking forward, uh, forward to this. I'm looking forward to it more now, so... Check it out, exclamation point. Oh, uh, WI, if you guys want to check it out. Um, I can go to the end, but I'm pretty sure it just, uh, kind of loops us back over to the main menu. I'll just cross it, just to cross it, just to say I crossed the finish line. So we have VOD proof of crossing the finish line. Oh, wait, there's a cutscene? Oh, is there? Let's see. There might be. So this was the beginning of the game, and this is like the the hub. Ah. State your business. Quickly. Don't think just because you failed the beast, you're an ally. It's all right, Winnick. I apologize for the lack of hospitality. My friend here has his guard up for good reason. Once the raiders took the old fortress, their bloodshed has drawn more and more of those... ...things towards our city. How did you manage to slay that monstrosity? My god. Your serum. The Watcher's call has been answered. Ha! I told that old coot he was wasting his time. For once, I'm glad I was wrong. Serum, in the flesh and on our island. <laughs> I thought you'd be taller. Your kind's welcome within our walls. I trust you'll find a home here. Seek the Watcher, up in the rookery. Welcome to Sacrament. Sacrament. There it is. Yeah, man, that was sick, man. <clears throat> that was wicked right there, guys. I mean, <laughs> no, well, I mean, you know, no rest for the wicked. Exclamation point. W-I. That was cool, bro. I, that was, that was awesome. That was like, honestly, that island was like tutorial island is how I see it. That boss was like, okay, this is the tutorial boss. He's like the crab in Elden Ring.